How's it going everybody? We are back with another Star Wars Force Arena video and this is a great one. We get all our content creators in here. We got Boss, we got Tiger Instinct, we got Gluten Slayer popped in for a little bit, uh, MLGK Dog, Paget Gaming, Joni Toby, uh, Dreamy popped in for a little bit. So we had a real nice discussion and we're discussing patch 1.7 and kind of how we feel this is going to help uh, the game or not help it and kind of our overall feedback of what this is going to do for Star Wars Force Arena and its future with Netmarble. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. My name is Khan if you're tuning in for the first time and uh, yeah, let's get into this discussion. What's up everybody? We are here with a new Star Wars Force Arena video. We are discussing the 1.7 update that is about to hit. And this is going to be an awesome video because it's a collab of all of our good YouTubers. And we're just going to hash out and give all our thoughts. We've Everybody knows what's being changed. Everybody knows what's happening. But we're going to kind of discuss, give all our thoughts, all our feedbacks, and how we think this game is going to kind of un unfold with these, uh, with these updates. So, my name is Kans. We got Boss. Tiger, we got Joni, and we got MLGK Dog. So, boss, I'm gonna pass it off to you to introduce yourself. Go for it. How's it going, guys? Boss here. Tiger. How are you guys doing? It's Tiger Instinct. Joni. Hello, guys. How's it going? My name is Joni Toby. And MLGK Dog. What's going on? <laughs> what is up, guys? Did MLG Kid Dog? So, <laughs> okay. everybody's pretty much seen Boss's video, Paget's video, Joni's video. Everybody knows what's happening, so I figure we're just going to give our thoughts and kind of hash out what we think all this means and what's going to happen and if we like it or if we don't. So, to start it off, let's talk about this new Phoenix Squadron card. Well, my take, guys, this boss, um, I, I hear a lot of people talking about how it's going to be like um, the Death Squad leader. Um, the only difference is, is he's not going to, like, after, you know, his units are down, he's not going to spawn more. Um, and also, I do believe the other two, uh, uh, Phoenix Squadron 1 and 2, are going to be behind him. Behind the the uh, number one, right? Right. That's what I thought. Like my my take is, it's uh, I'm kind of excited for it. I mean, it's basically going to be like a sand trooper followed by two stormtroopers. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Very, very for, true. for the rebels, and um, my personal opinion is, I think did they give a, a card cost yet? No. I don't no. see it, but no. I think this, this could possibly be the largest common card cost. If they don't make a three, I think it'll definitely be a four. I agree. Yeah, I agree too. I see it around there. I mean, or it or it'll be a three. I mean, it, I'm I'm gonna say eighty percent. It's gonna be a three, but it potentially could be a four. I'm gonna go. The reason why I'm gonna say three is because I do believe it's not like how to say it, his uh, splash damage. I would say. Since it's like a shotgun uh, type weapon, it's not going to do too much damage. Not as much as the um, like the grenader or the sand trooper would do, because they do a pretty large amount of damage for splash damage. Yeah, actually, yeah. Um, Mr. Originality posted the uh, the damage they do, and hold on, I have it right here. I'm pulling it up. So, Phoenix Squadron number one. His damage is 160 with a two attack speed and its radius is 7.5. I don't have the, uh, the sand trooper to compare to, but... That would be at level one? That's at level one, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, the range is pretty pretty good, actually. The squad two and three have a fairly low DPS of 36 at, uh, at level one. So, makes, I mean... Like I said, they're like little mini stormtroopers. A sand trooper has 7.5 range. Okay, that's exactly what this guy has, 7.5. So, it's identical to sand trooper. So, maybe they are trying to 
because people think that you know rebels and empire has to have the same cards but you have the empire has a lot of units and a lot of tanks deck but the rebels has a lot of units you know that you can deploy to get it done you know like if the enemy deploys a atst you can deploy a lot of troops and i think that the finnish squadron will be good for the for all those hard pushes you know or yeah. to stop a push i hope it's level three or it's a three card cost and i want to see lando rocket like just imagine two of those dropped i think that'd be pretty sweet yeah, yeah. that's well, actually that's sound pretty interesting that's gonna be the case and um it's gonna be really overpowered especially with lando because if you slow play it without even doing his special you can probably pull two of them already and now you do your special and you get to do another one it's only level two cost or i mean three um energy cost it's gonna be ridiculous I agree. it's gonna get uh nerfed down real quick and also keep in mind I, I mean i don't know what their how the health scales but their health isn't that great uh it's 264 and 160. Uh, yeah tie fight will take them down yeah so i mean they're still gonna be pretty squishy yeah, it might be a little squishy, but then that's where you have to have some protection. You can put like a whoop in front of it or a tank in front of it. Right. Uh, there's right. a lot of cards that can be very um, helpful and protected really well. Wookie yeah, Warrior? That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have anything to say about Phoenix Squadron? Nah. Um, well, I'll uh, have to wait and see uh, how it actually plays out. Agreed. All right, so now to this awesome-looking Imperial Guard droid, which just looks and sounds awesome. I'm excited for this guy. Ah, oh, man. No, like that, that car. He can, he, can, he can shoot while walking is pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's like an Empire version of the Gregorian Rebel, which will well, yeah, but he, but he has really, to stop. But he has to, oh yeah, that's true. He, has to, he do have to stop. So you, you can kind of kite the rebel around, you just wait for him to start firing and then you run away again. If you get that, 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 that car, yeah. that, that unit to the turret, that would be, that would be OP. And he's got a lot of health. Uh, How much? Right now, at level 1, he's got 730 health. That's... Wow. That's, a, what that's around the, the, uh, the uh, Caridian Partisan health. Around. Hang on, and actually, also in this post by uh, Mr. Regina, he actually has the card cost. So, uh, and if this is accurate, I mean, this is data mined. Um, Phoenix Squadron is going to cost five energy, and Ooh. the Imperial Guard Droid is going to cost three. Wow! No way, that's wrong. So, I mean, no like, this, this is data mine info, but <laughs> well, they have been right all the time. <laughs> yeah, they so... have been wrong. My, my... So, I don't know. I'll tell you this right now. If that's the case, and I like the card, I guess I'm going to be dropping some money on the game. <laughs> hey, I got <laughs> packs waiting. I got packs waiting for the update to go through so I can just open them all up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. And I know he his uh, his DPS is kind of hard to gauge, or his range, because he has, I think, two two attacks that he does. So if you have seven sister and then you go and drop fifth brother, uh, I think he will get into the turret and he'll damage like a lot of that point. Now just and looking at plus the oh, go ahead. Plus the robots that the seven sister shot, you know, at the turret. Oh boy. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. That would be pretty cool. But his unit or his tech? Uh, it doesn't say, tech. but I'm gonna say he's gonna be tech. <laughs> definitely tech, yeah, definitely tech. That's tech. So Chopper could, you know... Yes, Chopper is going yeah. to be able... 100% sure he, Chopper's gonna stop him. Yeah, Chopper can shut him down. Especially, oh my. Especially because <laughs> he's always mobile, like, you know, he's always walking forward while shooting. Choppers with his speed, he'll get to him pretty quickly and be able to shut him down and you guys will be able to take him out with no problem. 
Yeah, that's true. Nice. Okay. Does anybody know what the, uh, the Rebel's DPS is? Oh, oh wait, I have him at level 1. Alright, his DPS is... 300, 330 at level 1, whereas this guy, this Imperial Guard Droid, is only 64 DPS. So, I know a lot of people want to compare him to the, to the Giga Ram, but DPS is way lower. Yeah, what about the uh, Critian Partisan? I, I do not have him yet, so I can't tell you. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I can't, Going so... Then. Yeah, it, it shows it here. It is 92 damage per second. Okay. But you got you can't really go by that because... No, yeah, I know... Boomerang with all the ricochets, I mean, that, yep. that yep. each hit is going to jump it up, yeah. yeah. Yeah, good point. That's exactly that. I didn't even say that, though. So. Um... But I feel like, I don't know, the uh, <laughs> this Imperial Guard Droid sounds very interesting. Um, you just got, like like every other card, you got to play him smart, you know? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he sounds like a lot of fun. You guys All know right. Seven Sister. I'm definitely going to make a deck with Seven Sister, Pro Droid, freaking any droid I can conjure up. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Yeah. Larry. <laughs> Right, right, the repair droid. Sorry, I don't call them Larry or Barry. I, I just call them what they are, engineer and repair droid. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, you like the Star Wars name, so you tread well and... Yeah. I yeah. remember what the other guy's name is. Alright, so, uh, I'll... moving on to the mailbox. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's a nice, I mean, instead of having to exit out of a screen, you just have a an inbox that has all your goodies. Um, I did see someone mention, I don't know if it was on Reddit or uh, on the forums, saying, oh, nice, we'll be able to send people messages. No. Uh, that's no. not happening. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, then they got a little mixed up with that. Yeah, there's yeah. no create a message you can see from the screenshots. Yeah, this is purely just when they want to send you goodies. So when they send you that silver pack, it probably won't come. Or this is probably going to replace that, that little icon that's in between your missions and uh, battle log. Yeah, it's probably gonna be. Well, th that icon serves for the updates too, so. Uh, yeah, so yeah. It, if you look in the screenshots, it says notices and inbox. So the notices will probably be like the notice we have oh, right now. Okay. It says there's gonna be, you know, maintenance from X, X to Y. And in inbox, you'll have when they send you the silver pack when they come back up. Yeah, that um, could be. That can be a good or bad thing. Uh, Good for a person who's very active in the guild, I mean, on the game. They'll be able to get all the um, rewards. But if you have multiple accounts or you're a busy person, that can really hinder you, especially if uh, you got multiple things coming on. Because remember, if you don't delete anything or you don't collect it and it's filled up, you're not going to be able to get any other rewards until you um, empty it out. Right, I see that, and I, I was worried a little bit, but in this screenshot, I don't know if this is new or if this was already there. Um, at the very bottom, it says seven of a thousand, so I wonder if that means you can have a thousand messages in this inbox. And if that's the case, I don't think there's really a worry uh, or an issue to worry about. That's true. I mean, unless you're getting a thousand rewards within a week. <laughs> that would be Maybe nice. if they added the mailbox, maybe they will, I don't know. Like in the notice tab, <clears throat> maybe, maybe now we will get a lot of notification from them. You know, like a new new things for them. That'd be nice. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Simon did say that uh, he's going to be more active again in the forums. I don't know if you guys read that. He uh, he mentioned that the reason he's been absent, they were trying to fix things, or he was away on vacation. So now he's back, and they've figured out their problems and he's going to be more communicative communicative i don't even know if i'm saying but that right i don't know if he's the only one that is in charge of the how's it called for the for all the social media because if we see only um i don't know they could hire somebody else too i mean in my experience uh just using kid bam for an example uh from playing MCOC and the Transformers game, they have the same like three people that do the social media. So, and those are much larger games in scale of player base. So for something like Force Arena, they probably only have one dedicated social media person. 
at least to my knowledge. Yeah, because the game is not that huge that you can say, oh, we need like 20 people to get into it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they do need 20 people to advertise and do the social media <laughs> for this game. <laughs> we as YouTube uh, you know, content creators, we do our best to promote their game because we love it. But we need their support as well. It's not easy when it's a one-sided thing. Exactly. I'm, I'm gonna bring up my when I well, not my but when I I put up one of their trailers on my channel, and the responses that I had on the comments was crazy. People were like, "Oh, where did this come from? Where, I've never seen this before." That's I mean seriously, that's how bad their advertising advertisement is mm -hmm. when you're yeah. taking things from them to show it off to everyone else, and they're like, "Where did this come from?" It's yeah. bad. I remember the comments. <laughs> yeah, no I one never saw that, that trailer. Like, like, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I mean, if so we bad, need, we need more people to see it because this game is amazing. All right, K Dog says he has to go. He had a great right, -Dog, stream buddy. earlier today. It's pretty awesome. I was there to watch some of it. Yeah, I'll see you, K Dog. Be watching it at work tomorrow. Later, K Dog. Okay, moving on from the nesting. What is the nesting on the? The right, next thing is the uh, the one v one rank changes. Uh, so the first thing to talk about is the next thing. Well, we we just talked about mailbox, right? I was not yeah. using my push to talk, and I apologize. Um, yeah. So the next thing to talk about is the one v one rank changes. Mm. And, uh, so there's two parts to this. There is the conversion of what tier you are going from to what you're going into, and then the whole changing of the tiers. So to start with the changing of the tiers, uh, we are now going to have 14 <coughs> tiers. And uh, somebody is like, whoa, 7 to 14, but really when you think about it, we're going from 19 down to 14. Because if the way they're kind of breaking this up, it's almost, if, if you count the divisions as individual tiers, there's a total of 19 individual step ups. Correct. Yeah. All right. It's okay. My yeah, thing is, I mean, go ahead. I was gonna say, my thing is that they are um, focusing too much on this two v twos and again all the whole aspect of the whole game that I mean the one v one. When we started playing this game, it was advertised for two v two rank and one v one rank. I understand the two v two rank had um, trouble. And they took it off. But don't you think by now they should have fixed the problem and make the guild relevant? You know, make them actual guild matches, you know, you signed up to do a um, 2v2 with your guild match. you go against another guild, and at the end of the season, the best um, guild gets the reward, you know, make it like a, a new league, a new league or something, yeah, make that, it worth your awesome. while. Uh, I made a post on uh, Reddit about this, and they're kind of doing something similar with the season rewards, but as I, my thing was like, give some incentive to play 2v2 and add like a currency and call it like victory points and you can use that to spend on card packs or uh leader packs something like that so they're kind of doing something similar but it's still there's no incentive to play 2v2 yeah but the whole thing is that um the guilds need to be recognized as a guild match right you know yeah like, like for example um galaxy of heroes they tell you the top guild contributors you know um for the raids and for the HAAT uh, raids as well. So, and then once you win, once you win those matches, you do get um, stretched for a leader that you can only get it if you do raid. See what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe. I mean, and, just an easy way to integrate that is now that they're introducing this currency, which we can talk about later, is maybe. Yeah with these co-op missions if they ever add more but let's just say with the turret ones whoever the top guild with the most turrets you know yep. they would get a like a bonus amount of currency you know or it's some extra crystals or something gives give some incentive to the, the guilds so that, that'd be a pretty cool idea yeah, um, absolutely. so something to talk about with these uh tiers and them adding this addition while well, they they broke kyber into three so when you hit 5600 you're going to be kyber challenger when you hit 5,800, you're Kyber, and then when you hit 6K, you're Kyber Master. Now, when I first looked at this, 
I saw this as okay, six thousand is the new cutoff. So once you hit six thousand, there's no dropping below that. That's you know, you're up top. That's where it's at. But really, you're, everything still resets back to fifty six hundred, and you'll start each season as a Kyber challenger. Yeah, I think that's interesting. I actually like it just because you can step up a little more. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I mean when I do these leader of the week streams, I'm just playing. I'm not trying to really achieve anything. But now I may try to hit that six thousand on maybe both sides because when we get to the currency later there's a big difference between kyber challenger and kyber master in terms of points correct yeah, yeah. That's true. and we get a double because you know you get the rebels at the empire one right so, so yeah i mean i'll still be doing my leader of the week but I, i'll have a little more incentive to play the other faction throughout the week hmm damn that makes me have to push too huh <laughs> <laughs> no absolutely gotta get, other, gotta get that dual kyber boss <laughs> yeah, uh, now I see it. Now I really got to get back into playing hardcore like I used to. Yeah. Yeah, now, now is the thing that we need to, like, really, really grind in 2v1, you know? Right. It, it right. kind of sucks that it's only 1v1, though, you know? Yeah. All right, guys. You know, a lot of people do want rank 2v2 again. I was just saying, uh... Force Arena and the update just started, so... Oh, okay. it's on the well, main yeah, yeah, it yeah, it kicked me out of the game, so... <laughs> nice. All right, um... We don't really need to talk about the conversion of what tier you were in to what you're going to. I mean, that's nothing really to debate about. That's just standard. It's going to happen. That's yeah. True. Um, we don't need to talk about where the cards get unlocked at. It looks like all cards will be unlocked when you hit... 3,500 rating. No, I lied. 3,000 rating. The last two are unlocked. That's weird. Pike Trap is the last one to get unlocked for Empire. That's silly. <laughs> that is silly. <laughs> but, um, alright, so here we go. New rewards. Uh, I'm not going to go through those. I'm going to scroll down to the more higher ranked ones, but season rewards will also be sent to your inbox, which is fine. Uh, packs will be opened individually. Uh, end of season reward leader pack. We already knew about that. So if you go down, let's look at Kyber Mess. Look at the Kybers. So Kyber Challenger, you will get typically you know, your one leader card, but then you get 320 season credits. If you're Kyber, you get 400 season credits, and if you're 6K, you get 500. So there's a 180 credit difference between just being Kyber Challenger and Kyber Master. So that's a potential of 1,000 season credits per week. Per week, yeah. It's something, you know. Yeah, you don't have anything, it's, it's something. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a new currency, which is awesome, and it allows you to choose things in the store, which is pretty cool. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm Go really going to be saving those uh, points. <laughs> And then go heavy and spend on on, on all of this. <laughs> yeah, well, the, thing like... is, the way it's looking like is it's going to be. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, you can continue. Um, it's going to be very similar to our our current shop where there's only going to be five cards that you can purchase at a time, and you can use. It doesn't show how many uh, crystals it costs, but you can refresh what cards are there by spending some crystals. Yeah, you can refresh the page. Yeah. So it's not like they'll have every leader there, even though if you look in the screenshots underneath the cards in the season shop, there's a little uh, little bit of text there that says wild cards. So does that mean we'll be able to buy wild card packs? Oh, and get the, the 40th Vader and loot too. That'd be nice because someone for like my alt account where I can never get them ever unless I spend money, uh, that'd be a nice way to get it. Yeah. Who spends money on alt accounts? Right. <laughs> hey, hey, um, hey, hey, hey. I knew it. It looks like just by the screenshot that the card counter is um not card counter, but the amount of cards you can purchase is is very limited. It's only to two. At least by the screenshot. Who knows if that's gonna be exactly oh, no, see the screenshot is showing zero of two to level them up. Is that what that means? Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I'm a thousand percent sure. 
Maybe the the refresh thing is like 100 crystals. I mean, that's a, a, a oh price. yeah, I see. Yeah, because the next screenshot it says buy one or buy three, and then whoever is doing buying Chirrut bought a hundred of them. Oh yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> what level do you think Chirrut can be at with a hundred cards? <laughs> probably like a level yeah. eight Chirrut. Nah, not level eight. Probably like level five, level six Chirrut. Oh my so God, that's, that's what I mean. That's why I want to save my points. So I can go and be like, you know what? I want to buy a um, hundred freaking unique <laughs> cards for just that one person. Oh, man. I will buy like a hundred of Chopper just to get Chopper. Right? Oh high. my God. That would be like, amazing. He could tank so oh, many. No. He could just make it to all three tur all, uh, uh, the both side turrets. With one drop. Dude. Yeah, yeah, one drop, he'll get side turret, base turret, the game. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy. Chopper is, uh, is going to be the new Chewy in the game. <laughs> so, how, how do you get those points? Is it based on you spending money in the game? Is it based on, like, um, getting the season rewards? What it's, is it's, it based it's, off it's, of? It's, uh, it's the season rewards. So, at the end of each season, okay. so using Kyber Master as an example, you get 500 season credits. And you use those season credits to buy the cards. So just looking by the screenshots, it costs 840 to buy a single Chirrut. Mm -hmm. It costs 840 to buy a leader, 840 for unique, and 840 for leader, and 150 for an epic card. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and you cannot purchase these credits anywhere else. In, like, you yeah, know, it's, the, it's just it's season buying. rewards, yeah. Correct. So that that's one thing about the marble that I can you know praise and stuff is that you can totally be free to play in this game and get very high, you know. Yeah, they've definitely done a good job with uh, paying attention to the free to play department. Yeah, because everyone has a chance to get very high. That's very that's very true, and um, also it doesn't really matter on how level you really. It does matter in. An aspect, but it's more about how um, how tactical you are. If you can have smarter player, because you could be it, just being high level, all really helps you out. If if you make a mistake, to counter it real quick. So yeah. Alrighty, so yeah, I I think that's one of the things I'm most excited about is this little shop. And I'm curious what the oh, the hey crystal guys. cost. Whoa, Padgett, what's going on? Padgett Gaming has just joined us. Hello. Hey, Padgett. Oh, I just literally finished building um, Quan's house in the Minecraft realm. Oh my god, did that take ages. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk Minecraft later. But right now, we're talking about the latest update. <laughs> right, of course, are we not? <laughs> <laughs> Get you caught up. We already talked about the new cards. We already talked about the mailbox. We talked about the new tier breakdown, and we just were finishing wrapping up talking about these new season rewards and the season shop. We talked about the rant of Johnny Toby in his video and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> his eight, eighteen and over rant. It wasn't too eighteen and over though. Yeah, I know, I know. Was I was getting a little profanity, but it's all good. Right, I was getting ready for the f bombs. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mind you, I was actually listening to this on my walk to work, and I was like, "Oh, here it comes!" And I'm like, "Okay, okay, no cursing. Where is it? Oh, there's one, and that was the last one." <laughs> no, but it was fun. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so, so moving on. We are on to rank and UI changes, and it's the first one is the addition of seeing their rank when you're about to fight them. I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's that's I huge. That was, you know? yeah, I mean, so I, I liked I liked the mis oh, Go ahead, sorry. I think it will sort of boost morale and take morale. Say if you sort of come up against someone a higher rank, it could sort of make you feel a bit like shaky as you go into the match. Sort of like, oh my god, if you get what I mean. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, I mean, I always like kind of the mystery of how good is this person going to be that I'm about to fight. But if I'm, you know, Kyber Master and I see I'm about to fight someone in like, you know, tier 10, which I don't know how they're breaking down <clears throat> who can fight who in matchmaking, because previously 
it was what you couldn't fight someone two levels higher supposedly like so yeah you kyber you couldn't fight anyone in bronzium it was only in erodium or something like that but I yeah know. it was only erodium people yeah tier six so how does that work now for these new tiers well does it does it show the the points that the person has only the the tier no i think it's just the tier that they're at correct oh. it's just the tier yeah they the should have the, the points divisions. well uh, i don't know they should have the points because you, you can know which which you know which person you're fighting you know in the well, little I, I, i'm curious now because i was when we st started this conversation i mentioned how we used to have 19 essentially tiers because we had the divisions um but looking at the screenshot they have where it shows the Luke versus the Dengar, it shows tier one with a one star underneath it. So I wonder if we're going to have 13 tiers with three divisions and then your Kyber Master tier. That's what I, wait, that's what I actually thought. That's yeah, what that's why Boss told me. Yeah. I thought they were just doing away with divisions and this was just kind of like a, they didn't really, they just kind of reduced the tiers in my eyes by taking it down from 19 to 14. And just adding but a little it, more incentive to climb in Kyber. If it's going to be with stars, then we don't have the points that we have to grind in order to get those stars, right? Because in the right, description we be... show the tiers. Yeah, I mean the if they do have divisions for each tier, it's going to be very uh, small gaps. I mean, looking at let's just say a Rhodium Challenger, which is tier ten, it's forty five hundred to forty nine ninety nine. So within that, you're going to have three tiers, three divisions. So is that like 4,600, 47, and 48? <laughs> yeah, that's not yeah. right. It's like uh, 100 points or less between each division. So I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to know if they do divisions. Well, we'll have to see. This, it sounds interesting, and I don't mind the divisions. Just you're right. It's going to be very short, you know. Yeah, Dance like nice every time. every fight that you're going to win, you will be ranked up and you will, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's always nice to see you go up a division, so, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. So, it's, it's very rewarding, so it might be maybe, worth it. Maybe for new players, you know, they get hype and want to grind more. That's yeah, true. Yeah, Probably actually... to get to make it feel like they're climbing quicker for new people that are joining is more of like a mind trick. Yeah, Jedi mind because we always Jedi talk about trick. about us, you know, in Kyber and stuff. But we have to think about the 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 people that are starting out the game. You know how they see the game too. You know, so right. maybe maybe it's right. Maybe it's a mind trick. You know, to get the hype and spend money on the game. You know, right? Because I mean, <laughs> with new folks playing, I mean, I know when I first started, I mean, getting to tier four, it was like yes. Yeah, it, it was like <laughs> I got nine. Was it nine hundred points? Like shit, yeah. and now it's like yeah, get fifty six hundred. I'm never gonna get there. Get, goddamn. But now it's you know, <laughs> you think about it, it's not that bad. But so maybe this will help close that gap for newer folks who need to catch up quicker. This will help them give them a achievement feeling to help keep them in the game rather than like oh I gotta climb another a thousand points to get to tier five. No thank you. You know, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I remember before the global release that getting to Kyber was very difficult because of the of the queue times. And I remember Gloomstray and I playing two v two, like eighty games in one day, just to get into Kyber. We were like from the morning until the night, all day, just grinding in two v two. It was just sick. See, man. see I never <laughs> did it in two v two. Though I did it strictly one v one. Yeah, but I, put, I I got out of the Kyber when the global release, <laughs> like 500 I, points I was, down. <laughs> I think I got into Kyber in the third week, and I got into the top 100 in my fifth week of playing. I think. Damn. And I was second in I was second in the UK by my sixth week. Nice. Awesome. Maybe that maybe that's what they're trying to do. You know, get people into the game and then. Maybe next update will be like the 2v2 be ranked again. Yeah, so maybe this is their thoughts for like a quick term, like try and keep the new folks to play more if they're going to achieve more. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because people tend to stay in games on mobile when they rank up quicker, I find. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, when they when they think when they think that they are getting you know into some somewhere in the game. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly like that. Also, I want to mention that rewarding players is very important too. So what they did with these beginner packs, I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's also very good because you get a legendary, you know, off the, you know, from those packs, and you only got wait 15 seconds. And that's actually something that they added uh, a couple updates ago, and I like that. I mean, I obviously we don't get it anymore because we're not new, but for those new yeah, players, that's gonna be bucks. big. <laughs> yeah, unless you're one of those yeah, people that true. would get them for every single win and getting like 30 packs of them. Yeah, I, yeah, I was, I, I was like those ones. I granted like I don't know how many. <laughs> I go on my leaders to level four that day. <laughs> <laughs> You cheating was must not. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I was I was getting packs and packs and packs. <laughs> Damn, Alrighty. I wish I was that lucky. So let's move on, so we can get through this. Um, next up is the premium booster unlocked order. So this is a nice uh, quality of life, uh, which I think is awesome. I have a doubt like, about that. I have something in mind I, I read it like in the forum but it's kind of true you know okay all packs you can open all packs like if one ends up and then the other one start but if i if you are at the work or maybe you're not doing something you know you're just in your house but you forget about that and then you have all those packs open up and then you can't know you know yeah, like, I know me, for me personally, since my gaps of playing between, like, work and having to get home and, and dinner and kids and bed and I don't get to play for another, like, five, six hours later, if I have a premium booster going, I, and, you know, let's just say one of my packs finishes right after I leave work, I lose, you know, five hours worth of time, so there's, you know, a bronze pack, almost a silver pack that I couldn't unlock, and maybe my booster is only, is already gone now, so I like that idea. Yeah, how, yeah. how is that working? Because I don't quite understand it. Like, I've, I think I'm the only one who's a bit confused about this. So basically what it is is, I don't know if this is only when you have uh, a premium booster, because they call it a premium booster unlock order, but the function is you can set an order for it to unlock your pack. So to me, the way I read this is, as soon as that pack finishes unlocking, it sits there in its open stance, but then it, whether you're in game or not, it moves on to your next pack that you either assigned or if it's you have it set to auto, it'll start unlocking that pack without you having to select it and then hit unlock. So this way you could say you have a premium booster, you set your order, and you go away for 12 hours and you come back, all five of your packs will be sitting there waiting to open when you come back in the game. Oh, so this will benefit the people that get more diversity in packs. So like, yeah. if you get like one bronze, one bronze pack, one silver pack, a platinum pack, is that because I find if you just get a whole row of bronze packs, that's not really going to benefit you. But you, if you have a row of silver packs, then that's going to be. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like the diversity in your packs there is going to be what affects everyone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So because it it always yeah, cause... sucks when you come back in and. Your silver pack ended, you got another silver pack went open, but your booster just ended, you know, and you missed yeah, it. I, yeah, <laughs> I get that with my um, Path to Kyber series. I have to, like, like sort of switch between that and my other account all day, and it, it's really annoying. I only have... Oh, MLG's back, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I can only stay for, like, five minutes. Well, then get your five minutes worth of talking, go. go. <laughs> I only get like bronze impacts and stuff. For me lately, I've been getting on the main account, mind you. I've been getting a lot of silver packs. Yeah, I get a couple yeah, of those. Too. I've had I've had eight platinum packs this week so far. I get no platinum. What? what? Yeah, literally, I I've had I've had two on my path to Kyber series that I've recorded this week. And I've had four. No, actually, I've had six then. And I've had four on my main account. Wow. What? Slow cap. Slow clap. For I cat. swear you. You're working. Well, budget confirmed. He's working with Nem Marble. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you go, he's on the cover here. Get hundreds of them. <laughs> the cover, yeah. 
<laughs> I, 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 I haven't got even a gold pack. <laughs> I've gotten gold yeah. pack. I've actually gotten uh, a, a platinum pack from uh, Victory. Nice. You got you got a gold pack on just one of your recent videos, didn't you? You had like a crazy win, and then you got a gold pack for it. Oh yeah, yeah, Somebody yeah. Did. Do you guys reckon the toughness of the match um, decides what you get in your pack? For a while, I thought it was like win ratio. Like if you had a high win ratio, you got better packs. Yeah. No, as in, like, do you know if you had like a, a match where you really struggled and it was like sort of damage for damage, like, like sort of inches away? I tend to get better packs when I get games like that. Hmm, I haven't noticed. I don't know. Oh, like guys, 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 keep us, guys keep wait, 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 wait. Up, wait, wait. Man? We had Bloom Slayer in here. He's hiding. No, I'm talking. Do you guys hear me? Stealthy, yeah. Hey, we hear you now. It's going oh, on. Nice. <laughs> Sup, Luna? So we are discussing the patch notes. I'm recording and we've kind of been going through and giving our thoughts and feedback. Right now we're currently at this uh, premium booster unlock order feature. Well, it's only made patch up then. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> night we have all night we have all night <laughs> yeah we're, we're about 40 minutes into this video so <laughs> oh, good grief <laughs> I, I, we can i'll cut it down and it's all good aren't you guys excited about the new mailbox oh my god <laughs> <laughs> what a mailbox i think the uh the uh the end of the season sort of the new currency they're adding yeah, it's sort of cool actually i guess yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one of my yeah. things I like the most. I think it gives a good incentive to keep grinding, you know, to keep trying to go for that Kuiper Master, you know? Yeah. yeah. So there's, a, there's a big difference of uh, currency amount between just Kyber Challenger and Kyber Master. Do you, do you think, would we say 180 do you think points? when you reach Kyber Master, though, do you think you can get more season rewards sort of in that currency the higher you get, or do you think it will stay the same? I think the crystals will still go up as it typically does, but yeah, it I says, think the currency is going to stay at 500, and that's kind of the cap of what you can get once you hit 6k. Right. I just wish, I'm, I'm all for like uh, more rewards, but is it just me, or do you guys want the season to be at least two weeks now? One week seems yeah, so Yeah, they should be two they weeks. Do like, they could do like a two-week thing and then do a monthly reward as well, and where you placed overall in a month. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Like I was trying to push on the rebel side, and I got to like, I got to like in the hundreds, and like one day, I couldn't really play, and it was just like, blah, 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 done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, because oh, right. everybody's pushing so hard. Yeah, that's yeah. true. See, basically, what um, top players do is that um, they map out the um, leaderboard, and they see what the top, like for example, top five people. To see what they make and now when they want to go for a push they will go um, for whatever the person who made the top and they'll probably try like put like four or five hundred points more and that's how they normally hit the top on the leaderboard unless if they um came to a point now that they just made an agreement like oh, okay this week i get first and next week i get you know um top 10 but i seriously doubt it because they got like um assess um Ascendant, Alliance out there that they're very competitive and they always want to be the top. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guys, always that's at the, the top. That's the thing though, isn't it, really, with Kyber? Is people saying the game's. Pe uh, people saying like pe people aren't playing the game that much, but like there's still. Kyber is still really competitive. If you don't play for a day, you lose your place and you lose a lot of places. Yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta true. play. I mean, you gotta play a lot. But now it's difficult because they, you know, because you have to decide if you want to grind with rebels or if you want to grind with the empire, you know. And you gotta, you gotta decide early on in the, the week too. You're like, okay, this week I'm going to only do rebels. Or yeah. Only do, I, I don't, I that's, mean, that's the problem I'm getting. See, like if you're gonna do the leaderboards like that, like that's why I like to do my trick. Like um, I play, let's for example, if I start with the empire. Once I lose with the empire, I go to the rebels. 
and I keep both of them on a higher level because I want to get the most crystals out of it. But um, I won't just stick to just one side because yeah, we just one side. Yeah, that yeah. seems rather smart to be fair. It kind of goes against my uh, my whole theme. <laughs> uh, what do you think? <laughs> No, I'm my leader of the week, where I just stick to one side oh, yeah. and leader and yeah, play it all week and see what I can do. But you, you only do that for like uh, three times in a week, so you still uh, got some well, time I, to I, make I, up. I, yeah, I only stream it three times in a week, but I'm still playing throughout the week. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, as well, that week. I'm trying to grind two accounts, guys. I don't. Gosh, I mean. I do much more accounts. It's hard just to get my five games in on each each side, each account. Yeah. yeah. That, <laughs> that was, that was one of the things that I, that I talk about on the video that I made, is that time is the most value that we have, you know? We've spent a ton of time in this game, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, now like if you daily. look at it, Clash Royale, they extended the season. So now a season goes on for a while. So you got time. You can like, okay, I'm not going to... You're messing around with 2v2 or whatever. And then it's sort of like you got a week left. And then you're like, okay, now I'm going to push. And you see yeah. those guys at the end start pushing. But decide, I'm going to push this week. And then you got to start playing. You can't miss a day. Uh, if you want to be... I mean, if you want to be at the top. Well, that's how I... I mean, because that's with Clash Royale, they've been releasing like every... Every once in a while, like a couple of days, they have like a new, like, oh, it's 2v2 weekend, or they have all these little different draft challenges or whatever like that. So you can participate in those, but then it's like it's, the season's still long enough where you can still, you can still grind, or you can still push towards the end. And that would be good for yeah. people who are climbing too, because, I mean, I know it would get frustrating for people who are close to Kyber and get really frustrated playing folks like Shinwei and Genocide because of the time they're playing and those guys are trying to grind out. Or just anybody else who's high level. So if if they introduce that kind of aspect, it would give them a chance to actually play consistently and not get bogged down by facing the whales. Well, yeah, I mean, it, like when Clash Royale, whenever the season, the very beginning of the season, let's say you're 3,900 and you've been climbing and you're almost 4K. In Clash Royale, it's just like, yeah, there's like one or two days where it's just like, well, don't play that day because all the big boys are down there. But then you give it a couple days and then they're out and then they're out for like, you know, however long weeks the season's long. But it's right. like this game, it's like every Monday or Tuesday, it's like you can't really play the first two days because you're playing against the big guys. By the time yeah, they get straight enough up, it's just like now you're like, oh, crap, it's going to be like. See, I find I find the whales tend to make a lot of mistakes because they they see your card levels and they just constantly chuck cards down. That's a big mistake in their part. If you think smart and you chuck down your troops tactically like you normally would, and you're a good enough player, I still find you can actually beat them. I haven't. Seen yeah, you it. can, but it, it is difficult, you know. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, guilty on that really too. I'm guilty on that. I haven't seen. Uh, I mean, I I guess what who's I mean like when we say whales or whatever like that, I don't know who the like, I, I like... played Shinwei the other day, and he literally just chucked his troops down anywhere, and I managed to take two turrets off him. He beat me in, like, the last two seconds. Like, these, how small this community is when you can literally name, like, the three whales, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. true. <laughs> that's yeah, like, true. Shinwei's yeah. a nice guy. I like him. I've chatted with him before. Yeah, um, MMX Awaken. Usually when you see someone from there, they usually got really high card levels. Oh, yeah. MMX, they're they're pretty much um, a whale guild. Um, Ascendants are whale guild. Alliance got a mixture of whales. Yeah, those guys are keeping the game alive. <laughs> I mean, if those guys were well, yeah, good. You, you, yeah, exactly. yeah, of course. And see, another thing that's keeping the game alive as well is, like, the in-game tournament. Like, um, we had the Cobb Cup. Uh, Alliance had their in-game tournament. I believe Ascendants has theirs, um, and Max had theirs, and you know these are like the tournaments that uh, either the leaders or the captains help out to put in money into the game. That's why um, it keeps the interest for at least the guild aspect. And uh, since they're taking forever to do anything for the guilds, that's why it's always good to you know be competitive against each other and like you know do like either 1v1s or 2v2s in, in home and just like even if it's a small price like 50 or 100 dollars you know that's something that's going to motivate a person to do better they didn't really add in, they didn't really add anything anything related to the guilds this patch no. did they 
No. No. No, not at all. But see, yeah. I, my hope is I keep mentioning Gil stuff in here, and that Marvel will see it, and they'll be like, oh, wait, how you got it? He got a good um, idea. We should put some stuff into the um, Gil. Yeah, like they should do like Guild vs. Guild tournaments. Like, Yeah, they should. That, that, whether it's well, one I'm saying, I mean, because. Two v two, like two v two, like they should just make a two v two ladder and just make a guild, and you just fight playing two v two or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. You can't really do the like the inner tournaments uh, within a guild and try and award stuff because then people can rig that easily. So if you do like guild versus guild, and you know, fifty people versus fifty people. And everybody fights at least one person, and then whoever is, I don't, I don't know how you determine a winner, but at the end of the winner, you give them some kind of in game currency. I doubt they'd push out real money, but some kind of in game reward. Oh, you'd be surprised because it's, it's not really the rewards that the game gives you, it's mostly for the pride of, oh, my guild is better than your guild. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> guild leader. So, right now, like, like for that, example, I, I guarantee you this right now, if. Netmarble ever release something like that, the three guilds that will go like crazy spending money will be Ascendant, Alliance, and um, MMX. I'd say right, because... two guilds spend a lot. But you could do it with the same setting of the guild, you know, the friendly battle. Yeah, yeah, but also yeah, you yeah, can, yeah, that would you can be introduce like a, uh, MCOC does this, they do like a war rating, and so if the more you win, the higher your rating, so eventually over time, only the MMX will be playing Ascendants. You won't be facing them if you're a lower rank yeah, guild. You'll be facing other be awesome. who are equivalent, equivalent level, and mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a little more friendly. Like, yeah. well, the other, I mean, like if you look at Clash Royale, like just I mean, I keep saying Clash Royale, but like their guild system, it's, or you know, it's, it's a, a, it's a of, great model. So yeah, yeah, a lot of these yeah. games. That's surprising. Work, you know, Netmarble took a lot of stuff from Clash Royale, but I, and I feel like they just. There's some basic social stuff that they, they man, it could be so easy to add, but just making a more of a val like right now, there's there's literally no value to joining a guild unless you just want to mess around in two v two, and like trading cards, I guess, but that's still sort of so clunky right now. And and if they even if they just had a, a guild leaderboard, um, that would you know all of a sudden guilds now would be like more strict on who they came in and more like hey you need to you know mm -hmm. this this and that and that would force people to pay to keep up you know with a competition and it would just generate more revenue just from adding like a guild leaderboard I bet you it would yeah it can even be just a leaderboard based on uh, the co-op mission like whatever guild killed the most turrets that's what know. I was about to suggest that a guild le the guild leaderboard of every single guild in it. And it shows like the top ten guilds who got the most turret kills in that week or something like that. And there's a reward right. for like the top three guilds or something like that, like an extra pack or gives you an extra of this or something. Like that. I think there should be definitely that. Yeah, either that or like uh, a record of say everybody's most top rated, but then you can't really break that down by week. Yeah, it so. it would encourage people to work together in the guilds a lot more because I find like half a, a lot of with a lot of guilds half the guild doesn't really get many turrets but the rest of them do. Yeah, and that really comes down to like the type of leader you play. I mean, if you're gonna play someone who's very like a cheesy or chip damage who gets one turret wins versus someone you know who can do a consistent four three to four turret wins. Yeah, that's very like, much that's how I play. I get like. I get like literally like one turret a game with my Lando deck and that's very much how I play that Lando deck and I get I still manage to get like something like 150 turrets a week if I put the effort in usually yeah so I mean you'll start to see I mean potentially you could see the leaders will stop being played certain ones because they can't mm -hmm. kill enough turrets in a match very true very yeah. true they should have and removed the, the, the Empire and the Rebels you know and just make it like it was before but made a separate leaderboard for 2v2. That's yeah. what. I think that's what they should have do. done in the first place. Yeah. Right. They should just have two ladders. Yeah. My whole well, I uh, remember the fun in 2v2. Like, it was ranked and you, you face off with, with whales. But it was fun, you know? But they, but they should know. still keep. They should have still kept the um, sort of the friendly 2v2 that you can play. Because I think that does bring a massive fun factor to the game, and I think does I do think it does bring some people to the game. Especially, especially the casual players. Like, if you don't want to, like, oh, I'm afraid I'm a, you know, rank down. I want to play something casually. You know, 
they can just do the friendly, uh, well, not friendly, but the uh, normal matches. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the fact that you could go to your friend and you could go, I'll get this game. They can come in at like rank one and they can play some 2v2 with you straight away. That's what I really love about it is they don't have to wait to be a certain level. That is a right. good point too, yeah. But what yeah. about the, the, the... They should make something, I don't know, just me thinking about like prestige points where, you know, you in your guild, you know, because we have a lot of members in the guild that kills a lot of turrets, you know, they get like way too many turrets for the guild. So they should have like prestige point where you can say, oh, this is the top member of this guild, you know, and those top members can compete uh, from each guild to get a, you know, a reward for the guild or even a reward for them, you know, that will encourage people yeah. to keep, you know, grinding in the guild, you know, because you can still be competitive on the guild, you know, not only from the rank uh, and the other guilds too, but with your, with your mates, you know, if I want to grind, like I was doing with Abdiel, you know, trying to get the first play for turrets, something like that, I don't know. Yeah, made the game idea. more, made the game like more fun to play because they keep adding this stuff. But you know that in one week or two weeks, uh, nobody will care about. I mean, yes, I mean like, that's, that's, that's exactly. I, I was going to get to that at the end, and let, let's talk about. We'll, we'll come to that. Let's talk about this last little bit. We're at the end of the the patch notes, and then yeah. we'll come back kind of like our overall thoughts. And these are mostly like quality of life and uh, battle improvements. So, unexpected unit overlapping issue has been resolved. I, I don't know really what that is. See, I, never really I used it. to get that with my mortars. My two mortars used to come together and my barriers wouldn't heal one of them. They would heal the one of the turrets, like get it fully up and everything, and they wouldn't heal the second one. They would just leave it and it would just get destroyed because they wouldn't go to it because it's sort of a glitch where they were stuck together. Um, oh, and I found, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was really, really, yeah, really yeah. annoying. Yeah. Also, Especially with my saw... Lango deck. If you saw MLG's video nice. where he had the Treadwell droid where it got pushed into his turret and you yeah, couldn't yeah, like yeah. target it. Yeah, so I got you. What were you going to say, boss? I was also going to say I had, for some weird reason, uh, when I was playing without recording, I had, I dropped Stormtroopers down and they were all one Stormtrooper. Wow. Yeah, I was yeah. like freaked out. I was like, what the hell? I dropped and one Stormtrooper? Yeah. Oh. In, in my last stream, I actually did a highlight from it from Twitch where... Uh, my my guys started like dancing. They weren't they like glitched out. But seven <laughs> yeah, I remember. Seven seven sister was trapped in the middle of one of the barriers. I don't know if she tried to jump over it and it, she just got stuck in the overlap. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I, I was guess, getting hope... that with I was getting that with my Jin on my Path to Kyber series. She would like get stuck on the corners and she would stay there. She wouldn't go mm. nowhere. She, like I try and jump out and stuff. She would just stay there and not go oh, anywhere. I, I I I hate Jin in corners. If you watch my Jin streams, oh. Uh... Jin in corners. Oh yeah, oh, Jin. Jin is the one that loves the corners of the game. <laughs> but I don't think this is going to solve like that issue. At the moment, though, to be well, fair. yeah, that's, this is more of an overlay of the cards, the units yeah. that drop. <laughs> Alright, um, so this is a cool one, I think. Skills no longer go on cooldown if the leader dies before the skill is completed. That's nice. Oh, that that's, used to you know, really annoy me. You know who that's, who's that going to benefit a lot? Callus. Jin. No. Nope, Sabine. Nope. Sabine can yeah, benefit. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. Oh, Sabine. Yeah, Sabine. So anyway, you know it, but you know, you know Sabine is my bae. I would know it. <laughs> bae. <laughs> like, I can't tell you how, how much, because I played Kalos like mid-level, that I'd go in and I'd get stunned after I hit my special and it'd be on cooldown again. Yeah, know, because I think so that was annoying. really helpful though with Kalos, because I think with Kalos you needed that stun on him to stop his ability or you would lose a lot of matches because of it. Well, that's, that still applies. I, I kind of misspoke there because this is if the leader dies and your skill wasn't completed. <laughs> yeah, because with Sabine, even though if you, okay, if you tap on the, on the ability and something happens, I don't know, a glitch or stun or you die instantly, you, Sabine doesn't drop the bar, but the, the skill got in cooldown. I don't know why. So yeah, maybe... That's, that's the same way Jin is. Oh, that's and funny. Leia. Leia too. I remember Leia. Leia, uh, Leia's a little I weird too. I find it many happens with ranged, ranged heroes. Yeah. Agreed. So that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna I mean. make Leia back. Um, um, make Leia good again. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> make Leia great I again. Shall make great. <laughs> I I did that when I first reached Kaiba. All my videos were like Leia. Just get Leia. She back was there. OP back then. She was so She really I was. Remember. Yeah. All right. So here here's one of the new ones that they just added. Uh, leader control has been improved. A new indicator has been added, which will display the enemy position and which way your leader is facing. Leader skills will also automatically move to a nearby enemy on the screen if activated outside of a range. So looking at Leia here, it looks like she, or no, it's sorry, it's Boba, maybe. One of them's targeting the other one. Okay, it's Leia targeting see, Boba. It, it, see, it, I don't giving, understand like, a that. Line. Why would you need to see what where your hero is facing when you can clearly see it on your screen? Yeah, but they they have that my right the that arrow on the screen that was yeah. from the game. Yeah. That oh, arrow. okay. Now I know. I think that it refers so to leaders, but that. not the like, units. The right. Like right. I don't know. Maybe when you try to shoot a leader, but then you shoot like a troop. Maybe it is that. I don't know. Well, it looks like there, there's two parts to this. So there's an indicator will be added to display the enemy position and which way your leader is facing. So looking at the screenshot, there's a little arrow in front of Leia, but then there's also a little like diamond, almost like the Sims diamond over top of Boba. So I guess maybe if you're if you're behind an object and hard to see, this is an easy way to see. I, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if you guys else have noticed this, right? When you have a leader that is like an enemy leader that's surrounded by a lot of units right when you try and click them your character won't attack them they'll generally attack the unit closest to that yeah, leader that's, instead that was what I'm saying, hoping, yeah. yeah i'm hoping they fix that like do you know what they're saying leader control i'm hoping that's now something they've fixed because that was a big bug and it was really annoying yeah, because you, you you know that you're typing the leader but the game yeah, doesn't yeah yeah exactly my point <laughs> yeah so maybe this will help that that's why I carry stun in all my decks recently. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of people just drop units and try to run with them so that you have a hard time getting them. So I was just like, oh, you want to do that? Stun. That happens I mean, with me facing I that up today against Cassius. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just... That happened to today um, on the video. I think it's my first match. It's Cassian. And like he tried to do a push right off the bat, and I dropped that stun and destroyed him. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I find with Cassians, if they don't cross that halfway line the whole match, I find that you just cannot win that match because they they, see they sit so deep in their side if they don't come past that halfway line. You can't kill them or anything like that. and it, oh, It's like the most annoying match you'll ever play in your life. Yeah, right. I hate those. Alright, the next one, I, I really like this. So, deployable structures now display their range as you're placing them. So when you're placing a mortar turret, you'll see a big circle around it about what it will, the range it can attack. See, didn't they, didn't they have that already? Just it wasn't as clear. Yeah, as what they, they have that yeah. already. Yeah, oh, it shows it, it, shows it when you when Maybe. you place it, it puts that circle. But when you're going to draw <coughs> the unit, it has the circle. So this way, also, you don't... so it stays there longer. Right. So it's like you know how when you drag your card onto the screen, you have kind of that blue uh, highlight of where what their unit looks like. When you have that blue highlight, you also have that blue highlight ring around the turret. So this way you'll be able to see when you go to drop a mortar turret that you didn't quite drop it right out of range, you're going to hit the other turret. You know what I mean? It's kind of for that. Yeah, yeah. See, I wish they'd bring that into organic oh, units okay. and stuff like that as well. So you could see, so you could place your troops better. So you could see like ranged units right. are going to shoot from this range. Yeah, that would be great. So, you know, you know like, especially when you're playing defensively that yeah, yeah. where you're placing you know, your forelom that he's definitely going to attack the leader first, you know? Yeah, yeah, if you see what I mean. Yeah, gotcha. No, I, I, I like this. And maybe if this works out, maybe they'll do that with uh, uh, just organic troops. Yeah, that sounds good too, but don't forget there's also like a <coughs> de deploy, like, d uh, delay sometimes. True, yeah, so yeah. organics, it'll be a little tougher, but yeah. I still, right, think, so. I still think if people could get it to work, it would be a really useful thing to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially for new people. Alright, so a convenience UI improvement. A new notification bar has been added to indicate the reset of the guild mission. That's so that w that, that's, that's, nah, I don't know what they add that, <laughs> like, really? Yeah. I was going to say, it's pretty obvious when everything's reset, because it all resets at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what they really so, should do, and I've heard this say many times, is show zeros of people who haven't contributed. 
Like show yeah, all mm -hmm. 50 people in your guild whether they've had any turrets or not. So this way for like the more competitive guilds, they know who's not contributing. Yeah, yeah. Yep, and we can just kick them out. Yeah, rather than have to sift yeah. through 50 people and say, okay, you're yeah. accounted for, you're yeah, accounted for, you're might accounted end. for. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I, think, right, I think at the end of every week, right, the guild needs to get a list, right? Instead of the top three people, they should get a list of everyone and what turrets they did in that week. Because um, I feel like just showing the top three doesn't benefit the rest, like doesn't benefit the guild leader because they can't see what everybody did the week before. Do leaders yeah. actually get sent a, that such of a list? That's something that they should fix on the guild too. Like when you're trying to scroll all your all the the people that are in the oh, yeah, guild, it scrolls back to the top. It's so random. You don't know who's oh, the, the, who. the, the, the yeah. order of the list. Yeah, it's not you know ranked by rating. It's just yeah, it's very random. You, no, it's ranked you try by to guild find guild somebody and you by ra rating. How is it? Who said that? Oh, it, it goes is by, it goes, it goes guild leader, guild captain, and then it shows everybody in rank order. A member, yeah, the member. And for members, I don't think it's actually rank order. Uh, at least yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't way... think it's that. In the Outer Galactic Guild, it's got everybody in rank order. Cause I, yeah, I yeah, it, it is. Days. It could be update. I just remember before that, when I was just a member in one of my previous guilds, that I had just hit Kyber. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I was at the top the of the member. list when, uh, you know. I think it's. Well, I think only the guild captain and guild leaders can see it in order. I think that's how it works. I'm not 100 percent sure on that though, because I'm. Well, not I'm. Sure. I'm leader, and I, and I. Oh, but okay, you can still see, but it, it is on um, the tier. You know, it's from the Kyber and Aurora and so on. Yeah. So on. Yeah, it, but, it definitely has the tier. But not with the. But not with the points that the person have or either the toys that they have. No. Yeah, I was just gonna say that when uh, it would be cool if when you look at your members that are in the guild, like when you're looking at the list, it will at least show you how many turrets they've been, you know, putting in towards the guild mission, so that you know. Yeah, that would be convenient. Yeah. So yeah, so you don't have to go back. Even if they put like the like you said, uh, cons put the zeros for those who haven't. Like it'll just be better if they just put it in the the guild, like you know. When you look at it as a leader, yeah. you can see how how much e each individual person has put in. Because mind see, you, that'll make my life so much more easier. Because I am a guild leader in Outer Galactic, and it's frustrating when I, you know, people want me to make room, but it's hard for me to know who I need to get rid of. Imagine me, imagine me on KG. <laughs> That's why I have like three captains in that guild. Yeah, I right. mean, R.I.P. It's Johnny Toby. Being being on the, I mean, right now being leader on a guild in Force Arena is useless. Yeah. You can't do anything. The only thing that you can is promote promote or devote people, but nothing more. Yeah. <laughs> so right. I don't know why 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 you have to be leader on a guild if you can't do anything. You know. I mean. Yeah. It'd be cool if they had maybe like a, a leader discussion area so you could be in a group with all other guild leaders and I don't know. See, they could have, um, do you know like, sort of like, do you know like how when you go on like Discord you get like an active, inactive sort of status thing? I feel like they should bring that into the game but more sort of for, for guild leaders. So say if someone's been on a lot during one week, like so over a certain amount of time it says like they've been active and if if they haven't been on for like a week or two, it should say inactive and it should say then underneath their name for how long rather than having to go through all those settings to find it out. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. I remember doing a purge to, to boot out the leader and get another one. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. They should have a thing where you can kick the leader rather than waiting two weeks or a month that's, or whatever it is. That's called, that's called mutiny. <laughs> I still right. think it should be there. <laughs> All right, let's get through this. We're almost at the end. So, trade UI yeah. has been modified. whoop de doo um, Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about that. Uh, but the, the big one, and I, I really... I Finally, <laughs> um, play pack timer is now set at a fixed 24-hour schedule. Oh, yeah. I love that. I really love that. <laughs> so when that 24-hour schedule is, is it dependent... By each person, I think it's after it 12 o'clock be... in your country. 
Okay, that'd be nice. Because mine, mine reset a dead. Mine, like I have mine reset, so they reset at like seven, eight o'clock in the morning every day, like sort of around that time, and I try and get them done as quickly as possible. Um, but yeah, obviously, and then I, I've never really had the problem that other people get, where like they could end up missing a day because they don't play the game enough. Yeah. Yeah, like me. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I miss I miss play packs a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had it too. I've and never had a problem with play packs. That's a waste because you can get a, a unique or leader in one of those packs. So yeah, you sure can. Uh, all right, and these last little ones are, are my very minor. Uh, making adjusted for lower tiers to help avoid complete mismatches. They need uh, to. They need I, to it's only my, my path See, it's only my level one can't play the high level people. I guess, but they need to more than just <laughs> oh, say well, one boss, line of your, text. your series is now ruined, I think. Right, you can't ruin my series already. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think episodes two cancelled. Maybe, maybe what they're trying right. to do is like a tier one can face off a tier seven if they want. Oh, no? yeah. So you could potentially fight a really terrible level nine person, but they're only in you know tier two. Right. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, I'll still keep pushing my level one. Yeah, do it. Um, <laughs> card requests disappearing randomly has been fixed. Uh, chat filters have been improved, and order of tutorial has been improved. Uh, very minor stuff that they should improve the whole chat. I mean, like typing that chat is so annoying. It is. I don't very know. Annoying. I hate the fact that it stars simple English words. <laughs> you type like awesome or something, and it stars out as if you're saying something horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Hey, when you um, when you say something that is, they should ban, they they don't. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, like, they haven't is... banned. Okay. They haven't banned WTF, right? But they've banned like things like push. If you say push in the chat, it's completely banned. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. True. Th th their filters are weird. Um, <laughs> all right. So that's the end. Overall thoughts. Uh, I say burn the game. <laughs> 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 no, I'm playing. I'm excited for an update, you know, finally, this is nice, new, new cards, awesome, but a lot of the things, and we kind of started talking about this, that are in here, it's very short term, it's very, you know, like, oh, cool, 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 but then, like Joni said, in, like, a week, we're gonna be like, alright, you know, what's next? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Not I, very, I, it's... I very much feel like the game is progressing, <laughs> like, sort of slowly, but in the way of, like, I think every, like, so many, like, say when it goes to 2.0 and, like, 3.0, I feel like, Every time they get to that stage, they should put a lot of time and a lot of effort into doing that update and bring a bulk of stuff at once. So there's a lot to cover at once, so you can't just cover it in a week or two. It's going to take you like a month, two months to sort of figure a lot of stuff out, if you see what I mean. Yeah, okay. yeah actually... that, that's a really good idea, but they just have to have all these small little ones in between yeah 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 but know. they should keep people updated in between them as well they should like i feel like i feel like the youtube community is what's keeping this game going rather than the developers themselves that's true that's that that's very true right there because people watch our videos and then they go play you know or if they are yeah, yeah. Or if they are playing the game and then get a notification from any of us, you know, they go into the video and they, oh, whoa, I'm gonna try that and then go back to the game, you know? And most uh, people are not going to find this game on the Play Store because it doesn't appear even in the top 100 of the of the top three. Yeah, I've been sort of looking at that myself. Sort so of at the in the Play they found the game either with with us or Through i don't know videos on youtube yeah i was suggesting yeah. video and they click and they say what is this game about you know yeah 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 that's and that's then... where most of the, the game players are coming from i would assume but that's why like like like, like i say in my video because i get okay if like if somebody finds my channel and they start like from two weeks ago watching content from two weeks ago at this point they will be like, uh, where is the new content? In two weeks? I mean, come on. They should have been something new. And they don't have that because I have I, I have been subscribed to a lot of people that does mobile gaming channels, you know, like, I don't know, Kingdom Hearts and Clash Royale and all that stuff. And they get updates all the time. And I'm like, where is Force Arena? What is 
what they are doing, you know. Like I say, they have Star Wars, and I can get it that they don't, have, they can do pretty much what they want. But look at Galaxy of Heroes, you know, they are doing something very good. And if they have the Rebels theme, there are so many leaders from Rebels that they can have in this game, and from Rogue One too, and even from the from the movie, the episode seven. They should have those leaders in this game, but they yeah, don't yeah. have... Yeah, I fully believe, I, I fully know. believe if they had the other errors in this game, this game would blow up a lot more, I'd say like 10, 20 times more than what it is right now. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, can, can I add some guys real quick? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Sure, man. What I, <laughs> alright, just bouncing right <laughs> off of what Joni was saying, um, I understand, uh, Galaxy of Heroes is, uh, like, so much more expansive in what they, uh, the content they put in their game. Now, let's remember that, uh, that game is produced by EA, which is, you know, a company yeah. that is way bigger, you know, than Netmarble. Um, and Netmarble, and Netmarble is, you know, sadly, it's a Korean company, not that it's not known, because we know they make some really good games, but I know there, there's some, there's a wall somewhere that's stopping them from going ape shit crazy and just throwing out content. There's something that has to be stopping them, because when you have a game like this with the you know with the license of Star Wars, and that's worldwide known, like everyone knows Star Wars. You know, you can't go to any part of this world and say Star Wars, and people say, "What the hell is that?" You know? <laughs> yeah. It's it's uh, it's pop culture. Come on, it's known worldwide, and there's got to be a wall for Net Marble that they they have to be like, hey, can we do this? You know, and someone has to be the deciding factor. There's no way, like I said, if they were given the green light, go ahead, do whatever you want in this game, that they would slowly put out updates like this. You know, we waited how long for this update? A month, a little a more, month. right? Yeah. I feel like but like I, like like they're saying your stream boss, uh, and then why make the game in the first place if you know that you're because, going to get that wall? Because they got the opportunity, you know, the opportunity to work on this, and you can't like I mean, come on, if 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 Disney and Lucas Studios came to you and said, hey, we got a little pitch here for Star Wars, would you like to try? You're not gonna say, uh, no, I don't want to do it. You're not gonna say no. Yeah, but no. guys, let's remember how Star Wars come around. Star Wars come around on being told no. George Lucas was told no, and yet he still made the movies, and now look at him now. Yeah, see that? But that came from a time where you didn't have to worry about those corporate a-holes, you know? The ones that can actually <laughs> literally turn your game off and say, hey, no more content for you, you know? Um, the, the, because Disney was the first company... Um, that the first big company that started with the license and stuff then right. it was sony all the stuff because and right now like you say it's right star wars belongs to disney and maybe that's the point but okay let's let's put that out of the way you know okay no no a lot of leaders or units but what about the the balancing of the game or the i don't know like because they, they tend to nerf everything once the, the people start yeah, complaining. But what happens with Leia? What happens with Dengar? People has been asking a buff from them like since the game first released. And why they don't do that, you know? Because I, I, I remember back then when the engineers came up, I did a video talking about how people destroy a game, you, you know, because at that time people were always complaining, you know, oh, this is OP, this is broken, oh no. And I said like, if people start doing that, the company, that. yeah, the company are going to get like, okay, then I don't going to be making content because then everyone is going to be hating on me. And I think that from that point, from the engineers to this point, I think the they have dropped like a lot, you know. I think that's because a very they... big thing around casting as well, though, because a lot of people hate casting at the moment. So the views on a casting video are down. The yeah. <laughs> like me, like I hate casting. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like the players who abuse his power. 
But then the Foria, the, the Foria anniversary Vader, he received a nerf, but Seven Sister don't. And she was OP when she was first introduced. Yeah, the I game. love her, don't nerf her. The thing yeah. is, with Seven She's Sister awesome. is, right, people couldn't cope, people didn't understand or cope the fact is that she was so quick. There's not a character in the game who's as quick as the Seventh Sister. So to bring yeah. someone as big as her into the game, people thought, what the hell? And they literally didn't know how to cope <laughs> with it. I feel like yeah. now people have adjusted to how she plays. Like she runs in, she runs out. People are sort of going with that stun, sort of um, sort of just like those abilities that are going to hold her back, slow her down, or like even the adrenal so that your units are the same speed as her. People are sort of using that to counter her a lot more, so it sort of makes her more difficult to play. So we we, we can say that then the I mean I, I get into that too. Maybe it is us complaining about everything, and then they maybe they do listen to us and you know re, uh, read everything because it, it will make sense you know because every time they drop a new unit everyone is oh no this is op oh nerf and they got a nerf and then nobody's yeah, yeah. complaining about it. it's like... something it's something new look at hera when hera first released with the seven sister nobody liked hera and look at I now everyone every everyone hera. use hera exactly it's like you have to i still haven't got chopper <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's yeah but i don't know i feel like maybe it is the same community always complaining about something i don't know i feel I like don't... a lot of people struggle to adjust to change in this game well, don't okay let, this let, is let, a game sorry no 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 okay go, go. this is a game where strategy plays a big factor you you can't add cards and expect people to know how to you know defend and use them right away you know so yeah this is a game where you gotta play you gotta take your time you gotta figure out what works and what doesn't work i mean i play with my decks every single day i try different things even when something play works what every day yeah my decks <laughs> <laughs> every single <Wow>. day <laughs> oh my god uh, Perfect. Wow, Cal. perfect. <laughs> that, that Jack Daniels is doing work right now. <laughs> Word. Dude, I, I've gone through like a quarter of this bottle and I, I still don't really feel anything. I, I don't get it. Yeah, it's gonna creep up on you, don't worry. But yeah, tomorrow. Oh, yes. Like I was saying, you know, um, it's, it's definitely a game where strategy, you know, is big. And um, so, yeah, like with me, I even when a deck works for me, I, I, I ruin it on purpose just to see like what can work you know what can i make work you know and and that's kind of like what my channel is about i kind of like trying different things even when like uh so today's video i want you to throw this real quick um i put i took decks not decks but like uh glue and slayer played with uh palpatine so i played with palpatine but i used you know a different deck um uh double winnings videos he posts uh force arena videos as well sometimes uh, he played with uh, Thrawn, so I, I kind of threw in a deck there and tried that out. And I've actually been trying to play with Thrawn lately, just I've been trying so many different decks with him. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a game where, like, you know, whenever a new unit is out, you just got to get used to it. Now, like, yeah, let's for guys, I've been playing my Lando deck now for about a month now, guys, would you roughly say? I'm losing about one in every 20 games with that deck. Wow. Yeah. That's not bad. See, if you've gotten used to that deck, you know how to use it, you know? Yeah, and, yeah, um, I, I actually adore the deck. Yeah, it's and uh, I, I lost my train of thought. Oh, sorry, boss. No, it's it's very easy for me to lose my train of thought. Well, uh, guys, I think, I think there should be one last question to sort of end the video for Khans. Uh, which unit are you going to be using? The new sort of guard droid, or are you going to be using that new um, sort of squadron that's coming in? I'm gonna be using. Oh, first. All right. I'm gonna be using Jar Jar Binks. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Me. I'm playing uh, Empire right now because I'm trying to get that Kyber. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to play Worlds to get that Kyber Master. But as soon as I get that, um, what was the name? This uh, Imperial Guard. <laughs> yep. Lost. 
Yeah. <laughs> Imperial Guard jewelry, guys. That's what that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely pick out and find out what is the best strategies to use this card because I don't think it's gonna be a a three energy use card. I I don't see that happening, especially with you know it being rare. I'll say I'm gonna say it's gonna be around four to five energy use. Yeah, yeah, five, yeah, yeah, five is pushing it a little bit. Um, Remember, but, it's available at level one or tier one. Yeah, that is a good point. You make a good point. If if it is really that low, I'm gonna have so much fun wrecking the rebels with that card. Sorry, but it's gonna well, be. Well, I'm gonna be going for the rebel card because it's gonna be low cost and that suits my playstyle perfectly. Well, actually, from what I mean, what we talked earlier from before we even got here. About, yeah. Apparently, it's, it's gonna be five energy. Apparently, what? Oh, he said yeah. what? <laughs> what? Oh my god! I just had a, I just had a cheeky what? heart attack. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry to give you the bad news. I mean, it's not official. We don't know this yet. We'll find well, out. If it's, low, well, if it's low energy, that card then. But if it's not, then I'm definitely going with the guard droid. You know what? It, it, I don't yeah. care. They, it can be 10 energy. I will figure out a way, a strategy to make it work. For me, oh, you know, for me, I don't know. I, I want to use. Uh, I'm sorry, Abdiel. I know that. You, <laughs> but for me, I'm going to use. We. I'm going to use the rebel, the Phoenix water. I think that they will be cool. I don't know. Especially using them with Hera. Yeah. Of course. Okay, Abdiel. Now you can. <laughs> uh. Well, it all depends. Me personally, I'm gonna go with Empire since I've been going crazy with balls. But if it's a high cost rebel deck, uh, I will try to figure something out to um, play it because I already did the one with the Empire with my Krennic. So I want to do one with rebels as well. But yeah. I'm leaning towards the Empire because I'm really got a little bunch of ideas on how to make that car really um really op in a way yeah i i have some juicy ideas too i i really maybe, had my fingers maybe crossed. if it is five energy then the car will be like strong you know maybe the car will be worth it all right this is what i'm gonna say if it's five if it's the if the <laughs> phoenix squadron really is five energy use they better play just like uh, Death Squad leader. Enough said. Or, or they should play like the Sand Trooper, but with a lot more health. Yeah, we were looking at the data mining, and it's the 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 damage and AOE range is the same as the Sand Trooper for uh, Phoenix Squad leader number one, and um, <laughs> Phoenix Squad number two and three are like weak stormtroopers. So it's like so it's like a crappy Death Squad leader. <laughs> yeah, but it could be awesome. If it's, I reckon, I reckon it could be four energy instead of five. Yeah, I agree. I don't think it should be five. It's not the death squad leader, you know. I think it's going to be the furthest, and it doesn't spawn troops either, so it's going to be like the furthest thing from it. So yeah, for me, uh, since I'm playing, oh shit, I just died. Uh, since I'm playing Ezra all week, uh, it's definitely going to be. Um, Phoenix Squad card that I'll be trying to play, and I'll probably jump into twos. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing um, Hera this week, so that that could be a thing with me. So I definitely will be trying them out. Okay, so how 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 much time do you have, cans, for the video? Can we go? We are at an hour and twenty eight minutes. Ouch! I still got hours to talk because. Yeah, because yeah, I have a friend of, of mine so, that is like, like, on the on a guild, and he's going to join because I told him to join because he has a lot of ideas into the game, and I wanted to bring the ideas, you know. But you no nuts? ideas like the the ones that we were told. You no, know, like some ideas that they can actually implement on the game, like next week or something like that, you know. So I, I just wanted to talk about how how they can go week by week or something like that, doing mini updates or balancing changes. Cause they have yeah, to keep like the to game that. 
they they have to keep the game you know running because okay i i used to play a game called uh kingdom hearts on chain s that is on mobile and that game has like one year old so and that game gets every week every single week they get new updates and they get new stuff to do they get new uh banners to you know to pull they get new new costume new raid boss you know a lot of stuff every week and that keeps the game you know like you know that next week you are going to get something new. Yeah, you know? yeah. And you, Do you know like that and That yeah. could that could help for us. You know, just you, you can't release new units if you don't want. You know, but do something new or something like like this update. You know, if you do this update like every once in a in a like let's say three times in a month, that's going to be huge for the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do you know like the extra like the extra missions we get every time there's an update? They give us like that extra mission, get extra packs and things like that. I feel like that should be a weekly thing. Yeah, absolutely. I don't feel like well, it, it, I don't even feel like it would be hard to implement either. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe boss to bring the how's it called the K two S O. And start demanding on them marble to do something. <laughs> yeah, boss. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll send my droid army after them. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I mean, shit. I'm trying to get that new uh, uh, pure guard droid. So yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. he can pull out that bridge. Is your army getting in here? Uh, he's coming. He'll wait too. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Cause, okay, I have been since the beginning very. You know, I have given the marble the time and the trust. But it seems like if they don't want to keep doing content from this uh, for this game, maybe they should talk about it you know like hey uh, we are not getting new content because this of this and we will get new updates like once in a month so i don't know this is something like that you know communicate with the with the we 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 everyone because in twitter they don't post anything on twitter that twitter is dead yeah that, they don't use that thing now um something i like i definitely want to see them do is like even on their forums just at least let us know i mean if they're gonna take a while like again if they take another fucking month to uh <laughs> post whoa, something oh uh, oh boss hey hey sorry sorry sorry, hey. sorry. but you know <laughs> what i mean you know if they take <laughs> another month to post something <laughs> let us know hey guys we're working to yeah. get you know content up for you it's gonna be a big one but it's gonna you know take a little bit let us know like i honestly felt like they're just starting to like i said before in the uh discord you know, are they gonna let this game just die off yeah it's stupid it's a stupid decision for them because they could make so much money out of this game yeah easy, <laughs> like, money. easy money yeah That's true. That's all it's, it's like I said in, in my last video, if they put a little icon on the Play Store with Jar Jar Binks, this game has <laughs> millions of downloads. No joking. I'm not joking, guys. <laughs> nah, you know what? You're, you're right, though. You make a good point. It's, yeah, it, if they are not like... Feed onto it. Yeah, the, the first game to have, I don't know, uh, Jar Jar Binks. Get it before end of the month. Everyone is going to download the game. So uh, yeah, I don't they know. Just need, they just need to market it more. Yeah, yeah that's the, that's their biggest problem. Market and then con con what's the word? Consistency. I can't say it correctly. I'm getting, I'm, my, I'm getting tired about that time of night, guys. But you know what I'm trying to say. They need to keep up with this game. They, you know, I know they got other games under their belt that they're working on that, you know, that they got to keep maintaining as well. But come on, 
this is one this game could be yeah. one of their biggest games if they release content you know don't wait you know I feel like this nah. game would be bigger than Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes if proper attention was given to it. Correct. Yeah. I, 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 would, I would swear that if, I don't know, another company, let's say EA, let's say EA bought the game. Like, do you mind how many things we're going to get in the game? Yeah. And right. that's what's I funny mean, too because Netmarvel is a big company. Like they bought out the Kaban facility that does MCOC and the Transformers yeah. game. So they know what to do. So it's just it's mind boggling to me that why this game is just being let go and or not let go but like not given the attention it needs. But the problem with that is right, if EA say say EA bought the company, right? EA would probably take away a lot of the free stuff that the free to players free to play players do. <laughs> yeah, maybe their rewards won't be so so good. So they'll and, basically. And, and Netmarvel does uh, Future Fight too, don't they? And like yep. they're they give yeah. away shit like crazy in that game. Oh yeah. And, the game, and, in from the free. and that 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 game is old and see getting updated. Look at the update they they got from the S Men. Like yeah, know. they finally got X Men in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's crazy because it's it, like you said, it's an old game, but it's still getting content, which makes it feel fresh. You know, like if I was a new player to that game, I'll be like, "Oh, wow, this is a new game. Oh, it's actually yeah. been longer than you expected." Like if I, if I, I okay, if I am playing Star Wars Force Arena today and I have tons of work to do, and I come back like in three days, I don't miss anything. Only the play packs, but really, I didn't miss anything because I can right. still grind and get the 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 five wins with each fashion and that's going to get me one one liter you know one free liter so i feel like i feel like that takes the passion away from the game yeah maybe with the new tiers that's going to change oh. and with the with the store but that doesn't God, show everybody in here what's going on that's wicked well we, we hear you uh, we, we can hear yeah you. i hear you too oh what's up guys okay so, Dre, introduce yourself. Who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm, um... <laughs> uh, is this serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm recording right now. So yeah, he's uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I was about to say something. Uh, yeah, I'm Dreamy. I'm a captain in Gluten Slayer KG. Um, I'm just here to discuss some of the changes also. Um, put in some of my personal input. Yeah, just go ahead because Welcome. we have Welcome talked about. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I'm we, curious. We, we, okay, I like we went through everything, so you can kind of just jump in and give what your thoughts are. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I really do like the new uh, tier change. Um, I think it's really good for Kybers uh, adding the new store. Um, we're obviously going to get a lot of uh, a lot of points out of that, and we're going to maintain. Um, gaining those cards um, as the new has the actual stats of the two new cards come out yet have those no. been released so, uh, Mr. Originality data mined uh, some of the work and right now the Phoenix squadron is currently what they have is 5 cost which is crazy high for a common and the uh, the droid is a 3 cost um, really? Yeah. what's yeah. the HP on that droid? The HP on the droid, uh, hold on, level 1, I think it was... 730. Yeah. Level 3? That, that's uh, level, 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 level 1. Energy one. Card, level I mean, one. I mean, 3 energy. Um, yeah. Wow. So it's like a, a really mobile ranged Wookiee Warrior. Exactly, yeah. So a lot of yeah. people want to compare it to the, uh, the Giga Ram, but the DPS <laughs> of it is way lower. So like the Giga Ram at level 1 is about 300 DPS. Where right. this guy, I think, is only like I think it was sixty four that we saw. So it's basically a ranged Wookie warrior. Yeah, maybe yeah, less yeah, health. Well, gonna be a yeah, yeah well, while moving. Chuck it down. Yeah. Yeah, I was originally comparing it um, just based off of wording to Gigorian, but um, that's yeah, why I asked for so stats. I wanted to first. see. Um, man, I'm kind of upset. You know, they're adding this thing, but they haven't done anything with the heavy gunners. They're yeah. they're so yeah. bad. See, they're, yeah. they do nothing. <laughs> like yeah. 
They're the awake. Today. The, the X-wing literally flicks them off the map. Like everything does. They should either be given more health or they should be lower cost. Agreed. Yeah. Me, me, yeah, I guess so. I think lower cost. Or just mm, I think more health, actually. I think they should survive with the same amount of HP as the Pathfinders uh, for an X Wing attack. Yeah. Um, I, I think that would be fair. Right? I think I think that would be fair. Um, I think how long they take to shoot as well is a big problem with them. Right. At least one goes down sometimes before they even target something, or or fire. They target it, but it, they haven't fired anything. Um, but but that's not really what this video is about. Um, no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, this is overall we're talking. I mean, especially it's, we're towards the end of it. So anything you have an opinion on, go for it. Yeah. Mm. I, it's disappointing to hear that um, the new common card, the Phoenix Squadron, is five energy. Uh, but I think it's a really cool card. I think it's a cool concept. Um, it works just like Kernick's Death Troop uh, unique. Uh, with the whole spawning because you know the the first troop um the shotgun spawns and then a little while after um two and three show up with their regular blasters i think that's cool um i hope they have a, like as much health as a pathfinder or maybe even a little bit more than if they're gonna be five energy um because you could potentially wipe off the first one before the other two even spawn that's five energy just gone yeah, so, um, from what I remember, at level 1, uh, Phoenix Squadron number 1 has 264 health. That's nothing. 260, somewhere around there, and then the Phoenix Squadron 2 and 3 have, like, 160. That's not much. Uh, I, th I think I was expecting them to be 3 costs. 4 at the well, most, it, they did have nice rem stats. Remember, it's common, though, so... Yeah, they're common, so pretty, 5 is pretty high. Lot. Yeah. yeah, five is, five is like the highest. Well, yeah, they're, the, they're the only common card that even has a cost like that on both yeah, sides. Yeah. yeah, no, no, even, even the epics, there's epics that cost less than that, like the do back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the do back is four, and I know <laughs> the do back is gonna wreck this thing. The, the, the Phoenix Squadron. Right. Um, if 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 the dewback is spawned on top of them now, they might be able to put out massive damage and take down a dewback before he arrives. But that's a different that's a different fight. Um, I feel like, imagine I feel if like the, the three of them should have like different things to do. Like one will stun, the other one will do like slow you down or poison. See, then that that makes them like a unique. That that would, that be, would be great. Thing. Even if you just give them the, the aspect of give them some you know some attack power or some you know some sort of attack with range, and then give them uh, a nerf gas effect, give them a slow effect, I'd be yeah. so happy. Because rebels need a slowdown besides having uh, <laughs> yeah or uh, oh, yeah. Uh, what's your face. Well, that's the thing. If you notice, there's a lot of there's a lot of swaps. Um, both rebels and empire have a lot of the same uh, utilities. They just come from different packages. Yeah. Um, but I love Nerf Gas. Ever since oh, Nerf Gas is really strong, especially with the update. Both the Adrenal yeah. and Nerf Gas, that, that you stuff. you imagine bringing out an Adrenal for the Empire? So Thrawn already Adrenal his treat. Plus but see, that's why they don't have it. Because <laughs> no, one has, no one has the Adrenal set. So they gave Adrenal to, to the Rebels. And then Thrawn has it. So... Um, so they don't get it overall because then it would double stack, which is why the rebels don't get nerve gas because they get pow. It's a trade off, and that was where the trade happened. So that's what I mean. Like both yeah. uniques and leaders have traded also with um, support cards and utilities um, overall. Yeah. Now the fact that now the fact that Empire gets both Bosk Snare and Snare Pike is interesting to me. I think that's the only one that's an exception. Yeah, you guys, go And then the, the net. <laughs> well, the net is just unique in general. <laughs> that's stuff. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not, because Slave won. Yeah. yeah. See, guys, I... Yeah, you're right. 
Do you know like a lot? Do you know like a lot of leaders have um like the Darth Vader? He has his pistol, and his sort of his lightsaber. I right. feel like I feel like a lot of other leaders should have a secondary weapon as well, and you should have a button on your screen that you can sort of flick, and you you flip between the weapons rather than having them both at the same time. Hmm. That would like be that would a lot of cool animation. I don't know. I I I like the idea. Um. It. I don't think it would flow as well. Yeah, um, I don't. Well, it actually might. It might be more accurate, but it might not have good flow unless you're a really good mechanic, yeah, which yeah, would like, add a new bring, skill like, to the game. They bring like really good, like sort of like animation to it, sort of smooth animations, things like that, and like th like simple things like Cassian getting out a blaster that has short range instead of a sniper that shoots quicker and things like that. Right. That would that would get confused. I don't know. No, one more no, I get it because I mean push. the the game itself gets confused sometimes. You know, you go to yeah. melee and <laughs> you're standing there like two inches away attacking. You know, kind of with Jin too. Yeah, I've, yeah, had, no, I've had I've had some interesting experiences with Jin. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm Ezra this week and it's pissing me off with his jump back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's just that's just because of. Um, like attack cycling if you will like he has yeah. a set move set but like when you're talking about both um 40 vader and 40 luke and jen you have to be in a certain range in order for them to yeah, reactivate yeah. whatever weapon they're right. using and sometimes but, they just derp like they have no see, idea what they're supposed to be doing and they just start running from, at them or they yeah. don't do anything yeah because i feel like do you know, like a lot of the leaders have two weapons already, but the animation with them doesn't work perfectly when you're going from sort of range to melee, like with Jin, um, Ezra, uh, Sabine as well. Sometimes with her jump back, it's a bit off. Um, I feel like you should be able to pick between which one you prefer. Maybe they should add Star from then. I, I'm not gonna lie, I can't agree with I can't agree with like the Sabine one and the Ezra one. Uh, because those were, those are, um, not attack resets, but it's like a series of attacks. Like, that's their attack right. sequence versus them actually using multiple weapons, like the 240s and Jet. Yeah. Uh, like, those are two different, yeah, yeah, those are two that, different that, concepts. That can get you killed, too, if you think it can, about it. But that's also, that's also being skillful with the champion, or the, the hero, understanding... Yeah. Okay, Sabine, just rapid fire. My next attack will be Dark Blade, so I need to make sure that I'm not in danger jumping in right now. Like, don't Dark Blade Bladesman. I do that all the time. <laughs> Goodbye health. <laughs> yeah, um, and that's a misplay on my part because I'm misplaying my hero. Um, th those are those are skill cap entities right there. Um, and I like that because it makes the heroes unique and it makes the gameplay much different. Not everybody's just a stick figure walking around. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um, how much longer are we going to go? It's 1230. Yeah, I was going to say. I yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can end this. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to do this. And thank you for inviting me. I really wanted to be a part of this. Yeah, this has been yeah. great, guys. Thank you for inviting yeah, me as well. It was, it was really nice to sort of get all of our points across into one sort of discussion. At, uh, at least well, we, we don't well get well the like rank, so... <laughs> is, this, yeah. is this a stream or is this a video going to be uploaded? Oh, it's a video, video going to be uploaded. I'm going to cut it a little bit later and uh, probably get it uploaded tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. I'll probably check there. out what I missed. I'm gonna post a like, like I don't know, a video, but just talking about leading people to your channel to go and see the the video. Yeah, that'd be good. I mean, we wanted this on your channel since you have the the higher count, but uh, yeah, no, guys, it's well, been great. Um, overall, we kind of all agree that these are some nice changes, but it's very short term changes, and it's you know we hope to get more. Right. Yeah. Like, like a, a bigger. Share this around all of our channels. Sort of share it on our Twitters and everything, so that ev so all of our subscribers see the video. Right. Yeah. Right. We'll definitely... I'll do a couple of tweets to make sure I get it. Uh, everybody's uh, Twitter accounts in there, and then people can. Uh, yeah, yeah, out. and I'll, I'll retweet it and everything like that. 
Yeah. yeah, we're definitely gonna flood Khan's channel with our subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> like Johnny Toby says, hopefully it hits a million likes. Yeah, it probably will. <laughs> I always say that to everyone: like one million likes or nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. But hey, it, alive. it works. It works. Sometimes it works. You, you, yeah, sometimes it works. People get, uh, you know. It starts dropping the lights. And... Yeah, that's true. I like everything I watch. When it comes to Force Arena, at least. I support everybody. That's cool, man. I appreciate, we all appreciate that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's, he's, the, he's the only one that I can, you know, go and talk about this. You know, we used to we talk about it a lot. In the voice yeah, chat. Yeah, we used to have a whole Discord for it that uh, I used yeah. to be as well, sort of with Yoni Toby and all that. I, I'm guessing that's sort of disbanded a lot lately. No, it's, yeah. it's just, there hasn't been any updates to discuss. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you yeah. probably end up just <laughs> using there instead like you used to. To tell you the truth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been great, guys. I mean, we got Boss here, Jamie, Joni, Paget. Gluten was here, Tiger Instinct was here, MLG had to leave out early, so a lot of good content creators here. The real yeah, deal. everyone was in here, so nice. Yeah, so all right, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks, guys, for hanging out. And, well, thank uh, you for hosting. And as always, yeah. Yeah. Peace. great for having us here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> boss, nice boss, kid. Everybody get their outros. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, the, the, the salty Johnny told me so. Salty Joni Toby, yeah. <laughs> no man, Joni Padme, get it straight, guys. Joni Padme. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do a hashtag blankets myself and get some sleep. Oh, hashtag blankets for pay. Yeah, throw <laughs> throw some blankets his way. He needs that. <laughs> I thought you said guys dreams from dreaming. <laughs> Any anyone yeah. streaming? I know K Dog said he's streaming tomorrow. Anyone else streaming tomorrow? Uh, as long as I get the kids down, yeah, I'll be doing some more Ezra. I, I will be night. streaming if I have Yeah, just hit them with a tranquilizer that works. Bam. We're going straight to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> get that thimble of rum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, Alright, guys. All right, guys. I will catch you all later. No, all right, see you. Thank you, Con. See you later, Con. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, this is great. I mean, two hours worth of conversations from content creators, uh, some top players. We had Dramey in here. Um, yeah, this was great. So um, if you like this kind of stuff, leave a comment, hit subscribe, check out everybody else's channel. I'll have them all in the description. And uh, yeah, I'm streaming tomorrow night some more Ezra gameplay, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.